Welcome to Minecraft Prison News, where we discuss all of the stuff I missed while I was busy not uploading for six months. Our first story of the day comes from this guy named Adam. Now, I have no idea who this guy is, where he came from, or what eldritch horror he worships, but apparently he found a way to bypass the greatest wither defense of our time, Endergrid, with a machine that looks like one of the toys my little brother plays with. Just look at that thing go. Oh, Jesus Christ, what is obviously people are now rushing to create the next best wither defense. The top candidate right now being walls. Waterlogged fucking walls. God, I hope heat death is real. But fun fact, none of it fucking matters because the same guy found a way to make a wither cannon that can tear through reality itself. Now for our top story of the day. The 1.20.2 area ban nerf unintentionally implemented by Mojang. You see, on Spigot, the range of an area ban being held by a mob is supposed to be 48 blocks, but for some reason, turning down your render distance to two chunks can reduce that range to 32 blocks. Why? No fucking idea. L like, lit literally no clue. Not only that, but there's also a new way to bypass area bans because of this update. You see, if you set up a hotspot on your phone, connect it to your computer, wrap that phone in tinfoil, and then throw it in the fucking garbage, then your internet connection will be so laggy that you can essentially bypass area bands. This was possible on older versions with things like ping spoofing, but it's so much easier now that you could literally do it unintentionally. Yay. I just hope that no other major updates will sabotage prison mechanics in this video. Foreshadowing is a literary device. In other news, the Minecraft base trend seems to have been gaining traction recently. It's essentially people taking the innovations of prisons from the past three years, saying fuck that, and then starting from scratch. But since the base sucks dick and balls on its own, they have to spend an hour of their video building the whole thing in survival so that they can actually look impressive. And just to sell the delusion a little bit more, they have their friends who have no idea what they're doing try to break in. Of course, with a couple arbitrary rules. I guess this trend's here to stay, so let's hope it advances past the Bronze Age eventually. In other news, the amount of universal escapes has increased from 4 to... Well, let me check my list here. Oh yeah, a fuck ton. If you don't know, a universal escape is an escape for a prison that is either impossible to patch, impossible to patch together, or make your prison impossible if you patch it. So, let's go down a list of all the new ones. Teleporting arrows. Teleporting tridents. Teleporting ender dragons. Teleporting players. Phone and tinfoil method. The least intimidating entity you can imagine filled with data. A flying machine that can break bedrock. And literally any form of server lag. God, I love living in 2024. In other news, Neon Void finally released with an official Scenes Fen video to go along with it. It's also going to be Scenes Fen's last prison video or last Minecraft video ever. It's sad to see Sven go, but I'm glad we got a proper send off. And Neon Void will always be remembered as the overhyped prison project where all of its redstone lines lead to lamps and stasis chambers. 4 out of 10. In other news, Forest Fox, a former prison builder, recently released a video about the inside making of Canadian's much anticipated Daedalus Labyrinth escape. It was a pretty funny video, but recently it's been revealed that none of the footage recorded in that video will ever be used. I spent like hours in, in, in those recordings. J Jesus Christ. Yeah, and some good news for once, I ran a prison building competition in my Discord server for the coolest and most unique submissions, and I actually got back some great results. Here are some of the highlights. In other news, wait, I'm getting worried. 1.20.5? Spawn chunks? Breaking news! Spawn chunks are fucking dead! You see, for the past one and a half fucking years, spawn chunks have been an essential component for Minecraft prisons. If you don't know, spawn chunks are the 23 by 23 chunk region surrounding world spawn that's always loaded by the server. The reason they're so important is because they prevent multiple different kinds of exploits, and without spawn chunks, they're impossible to patch. So you can imagine my surprise when I learned that Mojang changed the default settings on spawn chunks to 23 by 23 to a 3x3 three three chunk area. 
So, assuming the server has default settings, which it definitely does, it is impossible to put a prison and spawn chunks in the overworld. And you're not gonna have much luck in the nether either, since there's no margin for error and no room for wither defense. Uh, okay, well, one last piece of breaking news. Okay. You get this. Our final news story of today, Leonel the Lion died in a violent car crash while speeding down the highway, killing a family of five. People are mourning his loss, mainly due to the cancellation of his much anticipated prison project, Leon Void. Guys, it's so sad that Leon Void is getting cancelled. Sweden emoji crying emoji, 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 Sweden emoji crying emoji. Now many primetime shows have captions like these, visible only on specially equipped TV sets.